Have you ever wondered how to start investing? Let's embark on this journey together, unraveling the mystery that often shrouds the world of investing. You see, investing is not just a game for the wealthy, nor is it as complicated as many believe. It's a tool, a powerful one at that, which can help anyone, yes, anyone, build a more secure financial future. Investing is about making your money work for you, about letting your hard-earned dollars grow over time. It's a way to save for future expenses, be it your dream house, your child's education, or your comfortable retirement. And the best part? It's more accessible than you might think. Unfortunately, misconceptions often keep people away from investing. They believe it's complex, risky, or exclusively for those with deep pockets. But, we're here to debunk these myths. In the next few minutes, you're about to discover that investing is not as complex as it seems. Why should you even consider investing? Well, let's dive into that. Investing is like planting a seed today to enjoy the shade tomorrow. It's about putting your money to work for you, creating a stream of passive income, income that you earn without having to work for it. But here's the kicker. With the ever-present threat of inflation chipping away at your money's buying power, investing is a way to fight back, to outpace inflation, and preserve the worth of your hard-earned cash. And let's not forget about the golden years. Investing is a key tool in planning for retirement, helping you build a nest egg so you can enjoy your time off work. Moreover, investing can help you reach your financial goals, whether it's buying a dream home, starting a business, or funding your kid's education. It's about growing wealth and achieving financial stability. So, investing can help you secure a comfortable future, but where do you start? Before you dive in, understand your investment goals. Clarity of intent is an essential cornerstone for any venture, and investing is no different. When we talk about investment goals, we're referring to the financial milestones you're aiming to reach. Perhaps you're dreaming of buying a house in a few years, or maybe you're looking to secure a comfortable retirement. You might even be building an emergency fund for those unexpected life events. Each of these goals you see requires a different approach. If you're saving for a house, you might opt for less risky investments, as you'll need the money sooner rather than later. Retirement, on the other hand, may allow you to take on more risk for the possibility of greater returns, as you have more time to recover from any potential losses. Your investment strategy should always be informed by your goals. Once you have a clear goal, you're ready to explore your investment options. Now that you have a goal, let's explore the investment world. In this universe of possibilities, we have a myriad of investment types, each with its own set of potential risks and returns. Let's start with stocks. Investing in stocks means buying a piece of a company, you become a shareholder and as the company grows, so does the value of your shares. But remember if the company doesn't do well, your investment might decrease in value. Next, we have bonds. When you invest in bonds, you're essentially lending money to a company or government for a certain period. In return, they promise to pay you interest and return the principal at maturity. Bonds are often considered less risky than stocks, but the returns might also be lower. But what if you're not keen on picking individual stocks or bonds? That's where mutual funds come in. A mutual fund is a pool of funds collected from many investors and managed by a professional. The fund manager uses the money to invest in a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds or other assets. This way, you get exposure to a wide range of investments with a single purchase. Then there's real estate. Buying property can be a solid investment, whether you're renting it out for income or hoping for its value to increase over time. However, real estate requires a significant upfront investment and comes with its own set of risks like property damage or market downturns. And let's not forget about other options like commodities like gold or oil and alternative investments like cryptocurrencies or peer-to-peer -peer lending. These can add further diversity to your portfolio, but they often come with higher risk levels. There are also safer options like savings accounts and certificates of deposit, but these typically offer very low returns. They can be a good place to park your money if you're unsure about investing or waiting for the right opportunity. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all investment. It's about finding what suits your goals and risk tolerance. So, take your time, do your research, and step confidently into the exciting world of investing. Ever heard of the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket? Well, in the world of investing, this proverb holds a lot of weight. It's all about a strategy known as diversification. Diversification is essentially spreading your investments across a variety of assets to reduce risk. It's like a safety net for your hard-earned money. Imagine you're at a carnival and you've got five darts to throw. 
You could aim all your darts at one balloon, but what happens if you miss? You lose everything. But if you spread your darts across five balloons, you increase your chances of winning a prize. That's diversification in a nutshell. In investment terms, let's consider you invest all your money in one company's stock. If that company takes a hit, your entire investment goes down with it. But if you hold stocks from multiple companies in different sectors or even different countries, the poor performance of one stock is likely to be offset by the good performance of another. Diversification isn't just about investing in different stocks though, it's about spreading your investments across different types of assets altogether. This could include bonds, real estate, commodities, and even cash. Each of these asset classes responds differently to market conditions. When one goes down, another might go up. It's this balance that helps smooth out the bumps on your investment journey. Of course, diversification isn't a magic shield, it won't eliminate risk entirely or guarantee that you won't lose money, but it does help manage risk. It's a way to potentially reduce the impact of any one investment performing poorly on your overall portfolio. Remember though, diversification isn't a one-time thing, it's an ongoing process. As market conditions change, you may need to rebalance your portfolio to ensure it's still diversified. So, diversification can help you balance risk and reward in your investment portfolio. It's one of the key strategies in the investing playbook, and a crucial tool for any savvy investor. So don't put all your eggs in one basket, spread them out and give your investments the best chance to grow. Scene script. Ready to start investing? Here's how. Let's dive into the practical steps you can take to begin your investment journey. First and foremost, it's crucial to amass a bit of savings. This doesn't have to be a monumental amount, but it's important to have a financial cushion before you start investing. Think of it as your safety net, there to catch you if the market takes an unexpected tumble. Next, you'll want to choose an investment platform. This can be a traditional brokerage, an online platform, or a robo-advisor. Each has its own merits and it's worth doing a bit of research to figure out which suits your needs best. Traditional brokerages often offer a wide range of services and advice, while online platforms and robo-advisors might be more cost-effective and user-friendly. Now it's time to decide on an investment strategy. This is where you'll need to reflect on your financial goals and risk tolerance. Are you investing for long-term growth, or do you need returns more quickly? Are you comfortable with higher risk investments for potentially larger returns, or do you prefer to play it safe? These are important considerations that will guide your investment decisions. Once you've got a strategy in place, you're ready to make your first investment. This could be buying shares in a company, purchasing mutual funds, or investing in bonds. Remember, start small and increase your investments as you become more comfortable. Lastly, once you've made your investment, it's important to regularly review your portfolio. The market changes and so too might your financial goals or risk tolerance. Regular reviews will help you keep your portfolio aligned with your objectives. And there you have it, you've taken your first steps into the world of investing. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We began our journey by understanding the essence of investing. It's not just about stashing away money, but about making that money grow. We can't ignore the role of investment goals either. They give our financial journey direction and purpose, whether that's buying a new home, retiring comfortably, or simply growing wealth. We then delved into the wide world of investment types, stocks, bonds, real estate, mutual funds, each has its own risk and reward profile. The key is to choose what aligns with your risk tolerance and financial goals. Next, we unraveled the concept of diversification, a crucial strategy to spread risk across various investments. It's not about putting all your eggs in one basket but rather, in several. Finally, we explored how to get started with investing. Beginning with a simple step. Start small. Remember, investing is a journey, not a destination. Start small, keep learning and let your money work for you. Happy investing!